Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Centauria, welcome back to another YouTube video and today we're going to be judging the Infinite Flight cockpit so we're going to be seeing the top 5 cockpits in Infinite Flight and as you can see, quite obviously right now I'm in the A350 cockpit and this is the 5th best cockpit in the simulator, now this is why so you see, unfortunately there's nothing on this screen and it really irritates me and like this screen is black, this screen works when you have a um a flight plan field and the screen there now them two them blank screens do tend to irritate me and it does get on my nerves a little bit and um, there's probably a way to fix it but i've not quite figured that out yet and i'm not of course the brightest um at figuring stuff out see no, none of it seems to um be working so we just i just leave that um all of these live cockpits have working tcas systems which is really really cool and that's probably like one of the only highlights it really has to it um it does of course have like working throttle and that so we go to the throttle that's all animated but then when we bring the flaps down we should be able to see them come down somewhere in here i think oh there we go on the left there we go we got full um see it tells us how bad how far our flaps are extended and we can also see them come in and out that's one of my cool features that, and i'm really happy that that does actually happen to be in the cockpit unfortunately i do not believe any of this is really animated um and there are just, see, so we got strobes off right now, and I do believe if we put strobes on, oh, that is animated, actually, hold up, um, I take that back, it is animated, but, um, that's pretty cool, actually, um, but unfortunately, one of the bigger letdowns is indeed these screens, but anyway, let's move on to the next aircraft, shall we? Cessna 172, so we up our volume here, we can indeed hear it, and it is a working cockpit, now, if we just bunk up the speed, and get up to 40 knots and it should indeed begin turning there we go so that's one of the really cool features i think of this aircraft um oh, it doesn't matter but it's got working and all of this works the vs all of that works i think that's really cool um part of this cockpit which makes it cool um that's why it ranks above the a350 because most of the stuff in here do work to my knowledge now likewise so electrical we got the master we got the avionics we we can turn them on and off we can do the master on and off, which shows the volts and that for the whole cockpit. So that's um, that's probably one of the cooler features of this aircraft. Now, then we do look down here, and I'm not too sure if there are any seatbelt signs. Um, but again, stuff like this. So we can sort out the mixtures and see it works down there. It turns the hours on and off. Um, we got an ignition all of these buttons and they, they all indeed like work so i don't actually know how to turn this on and off properly i just know that like they all work and then these spinny things begin to spin i'm not a professional but i'm just judging cockpits by their um, functional abilities now it can have a few passengers i believe and i'm thinking about bringing this into my virtual airline here we go we can have um we can have two at the back we can have two at the back we can have two two pilots so we can actually have six passengers by the looks of that um if we just open everything and turn the engine off um would be a very good idea and we go into free mode we can see how you can fit all these people inside of this aircraft it's a very lovely aircraft as well we don't get me wrong but oh no i think you could really only fit two people in it maybe three at a push um, unless you're sticking it on in the cargo hold, which is obviously, oh wait, hold up, looks like you can fit people in there, nah, nah, you could only fit a body bag in there, really, uh, okay, moving on to the, oh, hold up, we're going to move on to our next aircraft in infinite flight for the best cockpit, now, here we are in the A320, now this accounts for the entire A320 family with working live cockpits, so we just auto start this very quickly, guys, look this is i love the, i do love this cockpit it's probably one of my favorites but unfortunately you guys probably know what's beating it due to the 20.1 updates so it's a bit predictable but again um when we bring the flaps down now i'm not too sure if there is a sign in here but we can hear them flaps extremely loud today it's a bit of a pity um but we can indeed the all of this does work um, and it's a really nice simple cockpit, which is why it ranks third on my list of the top five cockpits It's just such an easy cockpit to navigate within infinite flight um, You can't really go wrong when landing at this without the HUD. I don't I, I very rarely use the HUD now 
uh, my fast few flights, so I'll, we can give it. Just give it a landing without the hard quickly, and I can just demonstrate my skills with you. So I have been practicing very hard. Unfortunately, the weather's a bit iffy here, but here we go. And so that was a bit of a bad landing, but you you guys get the idea. You you will get the picture. I do I do it like that, and it's quickly. I didn't use reverse thrust. It's really loud in my ears right now. So that's why I don't don't violate me for just using the brakes and ruining the tyres. But as you guys can tell, it's quite a simple cockpit. Um, you know, it's got animated that the gear the gear is animated as well. If you guys really want to see the gear, we can just quickly do the gear like that. So you see them come up, and we're gonna go into takeoff mode so I don't crash. And um, yeah, moving on. Let's move on to the cockpit in number two, shall we? Okay, so before I explain this cockpit, thank you to whoever, someone DM me on Instagram um, today, the day of recording, saying, um, can you make this a YouTube video? And I thought it was a brilliant idea, so I'm just quickly going to find his Instagram out and give him um, a pretty sick um, shout out. Um, if I can find his Instagram, it's here somewhere. Um, no, um, it's not that. Sorry, I, I'm going through all of my di um, Instagram DMs right now. I'm just trying to find someone who... Um, um has given me this idea here we go it was jo joseph um i'm i probably pronounced that really wrong dude but thank you so much for sh um giving me this idea so here we are 737 cockpit let's all start this again wow it just it looks it just looks so realistic if when we can back to the a320s this one just looks so much more realistic like the real deal itself it's like the seats even look fairyish like fluffy um so we're gonna but look at that it's just i'm afraid it's really it, it really is just looks nicer than the um other cockpits i haven't tried to land in this but you know what? if we if we sort the weather out quickly um you know just make this a perfect landing so there's no excuse to mess up other than no calibration all right now we calibrate right here we go so let's try and see look at that guys Look at that butter there, definitely a normal landing, but still my point stands um, working, all animated, and then if we try and get in the air very quickly, um, we probably could actually already rotate, and then gear, uh, we just want to get in the air, alright here we go, and gear goes up, and the throttle stick works, so take off mode. Um, just to avoid anything going wrong. So this is cockpit number two. So I'm sure you guys probably guess what the best cockpit is, but I'm going to give you my justifiable reasons on why it's the best cockpit. So let's go into that now. I'll be there in just one second. Okay, so we have just jumped into the glorious cockpit itself, guys. So, wow. It really speaks for itself. Like, it just looks amazing. So this is only the 777-300ER specific. Uh, this does not apply for all of the... Um, all of the triple sevens just this variant in specific now look basically everything in this cockpit is animated so let's just see these lights so um strobe lights all, all of this stuff up here like you can see the animations they all possibly can work for animation so you see them switch that's really cool and then we come down here the throttle works the flap thing works there on the right um, the gear will work if we quickly go into a short final mode. Ah, here we go. The gear does go up. And it's the engine sounds as well. Just wow. It's the custom engine sounds that get me every time. Like, there is, there is no beat in these custom engine sounds, unfortunately. Um, but again, it's very similar format to every other cockpit. Um, as in, oh, are we, okay. Um, so here we go into the nav bit. We can change the range of everything like we can in most cockpits. Compass or arc. I generally use the arc as well. It's a bit easier for me. Um, as I mean, I'm only generally interested in what's advanced. TCAS is off while you're on the ground. But then when we're, when we're in the air, TCAS is not off. But when we're on the ground, TCAS is off. So that is just something to bear in mind. But this is by far the best cockpit in Infant Fight. If you did enjoy this YouTube video, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm not though. I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Good night.